try, guys. So we're going to try to play some air hockey. With two hands. What's up guys, High Foods back again. Before we eat, we have a little bit of uh, competitive juices flowing. So we found an arcade, and we are about to get competitive. Maybe some air hockey? Maybe some basketball? We'll see who comes out. On top. Supreme. Oh. Bro, I'm about to win this one. There's two goals. There's three. Time just so that it's fair, we go on the same machine, okay? Let's get it. Oh, so I got three or four. So Glenn got 311, I got 304. Close game. And I'm pretty sure Big Glenn beat me on the hockey, on the air hockey. Yes, sir. 2-0. So. 2-0. <laughs> All right. Good match, though. All right, we'll see you guys. I'm hungry, though. We're going to go eat. Let's go eat for sure. So we are here at Hot Star. Hot Star. We're here to try some fried chicken that PJ said is really good. Yeah. And I love chicken and yeah. fried things. Me too. They're famous for their fried chicken that's apparently as big as your face. I had to come see it to believe it. How do you get chicken that big? <laughs> Who's not a fan of giant fried chicken? Uh, Peter Griffin. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> apparently this place became really popular in Taiwan and they brought it to the state. Alright, so let's just go inside and go try this giant fried chicken, okay? Spiciness level. We got one medium, one mild. It's so good though. This is so good. The only thing that's not good probably would be the price. No pressure. It's ten dollars for one of these bad boys. But we got the family meal, so we kind of save five bucks. Save five bucks. So. The chicken's like really tender. It really is. You would think that it's juicy. You would think it would dry out. I personally like this one better. Why do you like this one better? It's a little bit too crispy. Too crispy. Yeah. It has that OG crisp. I like this one though. It's good, but this one yeah. I think is I like a lot. Right. So on top of this, we actually got five snacks. Five side kickers to this. So this is the Taiwanese fried chicken. It's like popcorn chicken, so let's try it. Look. Oh, good. You know what I need some? Oh, right. Sauce. You need sauce. All right. Let's go for the wings. This is the chicken wing and Korean chili sauce. Korean chili. Cheers. <laughs> Juicy. Let's go. Not a good way. Super tender. Super crispy. And the sauce, really good. All right, Jeff. Your people know how to fry wings. Next. Next one. Let's try a little break. Let's get some fries. 
just one of these cheese fries. It doesn't look like there's any cheese in here, but. Probably look like one piece of cheese. Where's the cheese? I taste it. Yeah. I can't really see the cheese, but I taste it when I eat the fry. I can feel it too. It's like the wind. I can't that see it, but I feel it. Move on to the next kind of potato. Sweet potato. In plum powder. Plum powder is basically uh, a powder made from plums. <laughs> so let's try it. Sweet potato. Whoa. Sweet. How's that plum thing? That is fire. That's good. Not really my thing. I like it. I love all the salty things. I wish it was saltier. But I still think it's really good though. It has, it has its place, and its place is dessert for me. This is their standard wing. It's crispy. It comes with the wing and the trumpet attached. Oh boy. I don't know how they get their crispiness here, but it's really good. Dear Hot Star, how do you get your stuff so crispy? Sincerely, High Foods. So I think we tried everything already. I think now we're going to try to body it and just finish everything. We're gonna eat, we're gonna let Jeff eat, and then we'll get back to you and give you guys our final thoughts. All right guys, so we just finished eating at Hot Star. What are your thoughts, Glenn? It's really good though. Just the way they do it, it's a lot different. It's a boneless breast that they deep fry, so it's very, very convenient to eat, which I love. I hate dealing with bones and all that stuff, but the flavors on it are also really, really amazing. The spice level, I kind of would have kicked it up a little bit higher, maybe to like an extra hot or a hot, but we got mild. I definitely would recommend a little bit more spice to add to the flavor. That's true. But overall, everything that I had was really, really good. I totally agree. What they do really well here is the crispiness because it is so crispy. Every bite is so crunchy. Every bite is delicious. However, this is not the place to go if you're trying to keep a low cholesterol <laughs> because everything is dropped into the fryer. Like, literally everything on the menu. Um, but I really had a good time eating the food here. Taiwanese fried chicken, solid. Who would've knew? But yeah, we really enjoyed this place. And we totally think you guys should swing by Hot Star. If you're ever in the area, then we'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check it out yourself. We wanna thank you guys for coming along with us again. Uh, thank you for watching our video. Thank you for subscribing if you guys have. If you haven't, please subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. Press the bell button if you guys already subscribed so you get every single one of our notifications when we post new stuff. And if you guys have been to Hot Star, let us know in the comments below. And if you got better fried chicken for us to try, put that in the comments below too because we'll definitely love to try it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our video again. And we'll see you guys next time on Hype Foods.